In this video, we're gonna compare page speed and page caching plugins to see which one works better. And we're doing this on a live, fully functioning website that's running Elementor, Elementor Pro, and Elementor template on the page that we're testing. And it's running a boatload of plugins, I think 28 plugins in total. And this is a real deal test. And we're gonna compare no plugins running, this one on the left, to four plugins running. And we're gonna run each one individually and see how the tests turn out. And this plugin on the right here is the winner. And you're gonna be very surprised at which plugin it is. I don't think it's what you think it'll be. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn All, Pastor from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. This is the website right here. Normally there's an image at the top and images for all these as a hobby website and I'm not really publishing a whole lot of stuff to it so I'm not too concerned about it anyway it's a website with content as you can see like a regular old website but what this website has that some of my websites don't is lots of plugins so if I go into the dashboard this is rvingwithfamily.com this is the plugin page there are 28 plugins on this website I've been going through my sites and slimming down the number of plugins that I have. I haven't done it for this one yet because before I do, I wanted to have a site with lots of plugins, A, and B, have a site where we can compare WP Rocket versus SG Optimizer on a site that uses Elementor. We see Elementor, Elementor Pro right here. In the last video, we saw when we deactivate those two, our sites speed up a whole lot. But can we get to a reasonable speed with having these still installed because you still want to have pretty websites. Sometimes you just can't get rid of a page builder and you still have to have a fast website. If I scroll down farther, we see we have SG Optimizer installed right here. I've already set it all up just like I did in the last video. We're not going to rehash all that again. You can just watch that previous video. I have linked to it in the description down below and the card up above basically shows you the settings for SG Optimizer and SG Optimizer requires that you are hosting on SiteGround. At least I'm pretty sure it requires that. Some of the functions do, for sure. Maybe you can use SG Optimizer on a non-site ground website. I don't even know. I haven't tried that. Anyway, SG Optimizer is here, and WP Rocket is already set up as well. I'm going to make a video on how I set those settings and the best settings for any particular website. That will be coming soon, hopefully by the end of the week or next week. Anyway, now we're going to do some testing. I'm going to run PageSpeed Insights and GT Metrics on the site before either of those are activated. Then I'm gonna activate SG Optimizer, run it again, then activate WP Rocket and run it again and see which one's better. So let's go without. Let's paste in the URL here and analyze, paste it in here. And I'll be back when it's done analyzing. It's done analyzing on mobile. We had a score 19, not great. Very similar to the score we had in the previous video where the website was not yet optimized. First content full paint, 5.4 seconds. Time to interactive, 12 seconds. Same as the last video, pretty much. Desktop 53, 2.9 seconds, and 3.2 to interactive. We're not going to go through all this stuff down here in this video. We spent a lot of time on that in the last video, and we will in the next one with WP Rocket where it's going to compare the speeds when we activate those two plugins. In GT Metrics, we have 2.5 seconds and a C, a lot of red, a lot of orange, a lot of unhappy load times. So let's come back in here and activate SG Optimizer. And like I said, all the settings are very similar to what I did in the last video. So you can go check out that video. And now we're going to test it again with SG Optimizer. And we're going to see a big jump in our stats. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So we went from 19 to 43, from 5.4 seconds to 2.9 for mobile. And on desktop, we jumped up to 94 and 0.8 seconds load time. What was it on this guy? 53 and 2.9 seconds on desktop without SG Optimizer installed. So there's a huge boost in speed, especially on desktop with SG Optimizer. Mobile is quite a bit better, but still not perfect because we have Elementor installed, like we learned in the previous video. Elementor and any page builder, really. I haven't tried Oxygen yet, but any page builder just adds a lot of stuff to a website. Not too much you can do. You can't have perfect load times all the time. And in GT Metrics, our scores are very nice. Everything's green. 
and 0.7 second load time. That's pretty solid. So let's turn off SG Optimizer and let's turn on WP Rocket to see how that compares. Activate WP Rocket. And WP Rocket is a premium only plugin. It's the one I recommend you use if you don't have SiteGround and you can't use all the advanced stuff on uh, with, with SG Optimizer like Memcache. But maybe SG Optimizer works on non SiteGround sites. I'm not 100% sure on that. But some of the features won't. Some of them do require that the sites hosted on SiteGround, like the Memcached option, which we covered in the last video if you want to know more about that. Let's go get some speed stats. Now WP Rocket's activated. The stats are in and we're at 50 on mobile and three second to first content full paint. With SG Optimizer, we were at 43 and 2.9 seconds, and that's negligible that difference. Because I could run this one again, it could be half a second slower. And this one, I could run it again, it could be half a second faster. So when they're within 0.1 second or even 0.2 or 0.3 or 0.4 seconds, it's pretty much the same. Just depends on what's going on in the server when you run the test. On desktop, we're up to 94 and 0.8 second load time with WP Rocket. With SG Optimizer, we were at 94 and 0.8 seconds, pretty much identical. So those two plugins, SG Optimizer and WP Rocket, when they're set up properly, are pretty much identical in Google PageSpeed Insights. And in GT Metrics for WP Rocket, we have an A, they're all green. This one's a little lime green, whereas the one for SG Optimizer was all green. But again, that could just be when I took the test. It's a pretty small difference. It's like 100 milliseconds. So those are pretty much identical. But what if you don't have SiteGround hosting? It is a little more expensive than other hosts. It's also faster and better. That's why it costs a little more. And what if you don't have the money for WP Rocket? Well, then you could use something like WP Fastest Cache. And we're going to test that right now as well to see how it compares to SG Optimizer and WP Rocket. So let's go install WP Fastest Cache, set it up and see if it's any faster. Let's go to plugins and then add new. Look up WP Fastest Cache. This is what we want right here. This one looks quite promising as well. I haven't tried it before, but I might even try it in this video to see how that one works. Because WP Fastest Cache is really simple. The free version has not very many settings. I'm going to click on Install Now and then Activate. Now there's a new menu item on the left called WP Fastest Cache. Let's click on that. And then we're going to turn on the cache system. I'm going to preload the home page. I am going to minify HTML, minify CSS, combine CSS, combine JavaScript, gzip, browser cache, disable emojis, and that's it. The other options, the four that I skipped here, aren't really relevant for page speed, so they're not going to do very much. I'm going to click on Submit to turn that on, and every other option is a premium-only option, except for this one. It excludes some stuff. But everything else, premium-only, so we're not going to set any of those because we just have the free version. Now let's test the page speed. Let's open, let's get a new browser and GT metrics. And let's see how they compare. So here are the results and it's almost like there's not even a caching plugin installed for the mobile. We have 21 and 5.6 seconds. If we compare that to before we had any caching plugins activated, on mobile, we had 19 and 5.4 seconds. So it's actually a little bit slower, but that's just testing variation. If I test this again, it might be a little bit faster. I ran this a few times and the results were always in this range. For desktop, it did much better, 80 and 1.5 compared to no plugins where we had 53 and 2.9. So WP Fastest Cache does improve your site speed a little bit, but it's nothing compared to SG Optimizer or WP Rocket. And GT Metrics for this plugin is actually quite good. Those are all green. So that's pretty solid for GT Metrics. Not so solid for Google Page Insights. So let's compare the other one that we saw in the list, the Lightspeed plugin. So let's deactivate this one. Let's go to Plugins and Add New. Look at WP Fastest Cache again, because I knew it was in, or I know it was in those results. Lightspeed cache, this one right here. Let's install that and then click activate. When I started this tutorial, I was not intending to have this be a comparison tutorial for all these plugins, but I thought it might be useful to see this stuff. So we have that installed now. We have a new menu option on the left here called Lightspeed Cache. Let's click on that and let's set it up. This is our dashboard where we'll see some stats once it's run for a little bit. And there's a lot more settings for this plugin than there is for WP Fastest Cache. So we're gonna to go to the cache page 
and make sure this is all turned on and these are all on all the different caching options up for cache mobile i'll turn that on as well and then click on save at the bottom all these tabs up here are more settings but they're not required the caching is now on and it's working here it says ls cache functions not available on this page i think that'll be fine not going to worry about that uh, i'm not going to use a cdn image optimization is done with short pixel on this site so not going to worry about that page optimization i'm going to turn a lot of stuff on here i'm going to minify css combine css combine external inline i'm just going to turn all of it on and see if it doesn't break so those are all on not going to use these extra fields and font display optimization swap is recommended which means it loads with a standard font that's on every computer like arial and then it'll swap the font out once the font file is loaded pretty handy feature click on save changes to save all those go to js settings let's turn all these on and load inline JSS, JS deferred. This of course requires your testing. So if you defer JavaScript or CSS, you wanna to go to the site and make sure it actually didn't break anything. I like to turn everything on and see if it breaks something and then work backwards if something broke. Turn all this on, remove query strings, remove Google fonts, I'm gonna keep that on. Because we use Google fonts, remove WordPress emojis, remove no script tag, save changes. This remove no script tag may not be ideal. I believe one of the tags from Google Tag Manager is a no script tag. So if you're using that, don't do that. Media settings, we're gonna let ShortPixel take care of all that. Media excludes, none of that. Localization, nope. And tuning, here it's currently excluding jQuery, so we might have to delete this to make it load faster. So let's click on save changes one more time. We're done setting what we need to give this a little test, so let's give it a test. Let's open one more tab of Google PageSpeed Insights, GT Metrics, and this will be the last test of the day. Then we'll have a final comparison conclusively which plugin is the best, or at least out of those four that we tried. So Lightspeed did much better than WP Fastest Cache. If you recall on mobile, don't have to recall, I'll show it to you. This is the WP Fastest Cache. We got 21 and a 5.6 second load time. With light speed, we have a 58 and a 2.1 second load time. On desktop, we have a 94 and a 0.7 second load time. And on desktop for WP Fastest Cache, we have an 80 and a 1.5. So the light speed caching plugin is better than WP Fastest Cache. On GT Metrics, the stats are actually worse for the light speed plugin versus WP Fastest Cache. This is light speed, only got a C and a 1.6 second load time. For WP Fastest Cache, we've got an A and a one second load time. And I've tested this a couple times and it seems to be pretty steady at these numbers. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of all of the different plugins we tested today. The first one is no plugin. The second one is SG Optimizer. The third one is WP Rocket, which is a premium only plugin. The fourth one is WP Fastest Cache, which has a free version and a paid version. We used to use the free version. And the last one's Lightspeed Cache, which also has a free and a paid version. We just use the free version. So I'm pretty sure it has a paid version. Anyway, we use the free version of this plugin and we see when we're on mobile, these are the scores they all receive, but the scores are kind of a vanity metric. What you really want is load speed. So for no plugin, it was 5.4 seconds. With SG Optimizer, 2.9. With WP Rocket, 3. With WP Fastest Cache, 5.6 seconds. And with Lightspeed, 2.1. So that was actually faster than SG Optimizer and WP Rocket. So the fastest one on mobile was Lightspeed Cache, the free version, which is surprising at 2.1 seconds. So now if we switch all these over to desktop, we have without a plugin running, 2.9 seconds. With SG Optimizer, 0.8 seconds. With WP Rocket, 0.8 seconds. With WP Fastest Cache, 1.5 seconds. And with Lightspeed Cache, 0.7 seconds, which is faster then WP Rocket and SG Optimizer by 0.1 second. So if we test multiple times, those will probably end up being about equal in the end, but it looks like Lightspeed Cache wins over everybody else because it's faster on mobile. It's 2.1 seconds compared to three seconds for WP Rocket and I think 2.8 for SG Optimizer. So this free plugin is better than WP Rocket and SG Optimizer, at least in this test on this specific website with Elementor installed and running 
and with a whole lot of plugins on the site as well. Next up is watching this video right here where I show you how I set up SG Optimizer just like I did in this video. So check that out and WP Rocket is below it if you wanna try that plugin out. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.